Birth of a Nation. It's a, a film, a new film, uh, out by uh, one Nate Parker. Um, you know, he's been an actor for a little bit uh, in Hollywood, and uh, he took some time off to uh, write uh, and, um, I guess, possibly produce, direct, and star in this uh, film uh, on the, actually on the, the machinations around uh, one um, slave revolt, one of thousands of slave revolts. That would be the Nat Turner uh, revolt. Uh, now, I haven't seen the movie. You say, well, how could you talk about the movie? I'm actually going to talk about the movie. The reason why I haven't seen it because I'm in the Eastern Cape <laughs> of South Africa. And um, as far as I understand, uh, well, we, we, we're not going to get it any time that I know of. Down here is, the nearest movie theater, proper movie theater that we have, is uh, two hours away, an hour and 45 minutes, however, however you drive, an hour and a half, however you drive. In East, in, in East London, there's, there's movie theaters. They used to have a few movie theaters, uh, but now they only have one in the Dinko Hemingway's Mall anyway. Um, and I, I don't see it on their boards. Uh, I'll have to check that in the, in the coming weeks. As far as, in fact, as far as I know, as far as uh, uh, American movies come, they have the, the regular movies that, that, that come regular, movies, the big the big time movies that come. Um, like you'll have something like The Accountant will come here right away, or the, the new uh, Jack Reacher film will come right away. Um, but as for, as for like black American films, well maybe Medea might show up, you know, um, but um, it's not, you know, it's not, but I just heard, I heard something that uh, uh, West Africa, mainly Nigeria and Ghana, uh, they have a distribution deal uh, coming soon with Fox, where all of the Fox movies will come through proper movie houses in, 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 in that area of Africa. Um, I, so I don't know what the deal is going to be with with South Africa. In fact, they are building a huge. They're supposed to be building a very big mall between Alice and uh, Fort Beaufort, which would be kind of interesting. This area is like booming, always happens to me. Anyway, back to Birth of a Nation. Now, Birth of a Nation, as you may or may not know, uh, the original title, if you were, uh, was uh, was 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 a film that came out in you know 1916 or whatever, 15, whatever it is. Uh, off of a, of, a, of a novel, a book called The Klansman, and it ushered in this whole thing about resurgence of the Klan and, and all the rest of that stuff. I, I, I interestingly noted the first Birth of a Nation, it was the first film shown in the White House. Think about it. Now, I, I actually saw D.W. Griffith's Birth of a Nation. Not only did you see Birth of a Nation, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm sort of a cinephile. You won't know it now because I'm doing this other stuff. But um, uh, I, at one point, I just Lots of films. I also saw D.W. Griffin's uh, follow-up film to Birth of a Nation. Uh, after he got a lot of flack for that, remember he's just a filmmaker adapting a script uh, from a, from a book. Uh, was a thing called Intolerance, which uses the same kind of cinematic techniques and stuff like that. Actually, more advanced than Birth of a Nation, but Birth of a Nation gets the, get the hoopla. Uh, but Intolerance is an amazing film. Uh, you think Birth of a Nation is whew, something, but Intolerance, D.W. Griffin, check it out if you can. It's an incredible film. Um, Anyway, so with this thing, there's a lot of controversy behind it, but I, I, I saw something on, online, maybe I'll give it a post. Uh, this guy went to see a Birth of a Nation in, um, in yeah. Delaware. And in, in Delaware, uh, what happened was he went to see Birth of a Nation. They said it was sold out, but he can still see the account. So he put the ticket for account, but he still went to the Birth of a Nation uh, where, where it was playing, because these Cinemaxes, you know, Cinemaxes, whatever, they have a bunch of theaters. And he walked in there and found there's only three people in there, even though the sign said it was sold out, only three people. So he had bought a ticket for uh, the, the, uh, the accountant, but, you know, I say on the, on the guys that Birth of a Nation was sold out, but it wasn't sold out. And he went to this whole uh, thing talking to the manager. He's supposed to take it up to corporate, whatever have you. So we'll see what happens with that. But it's an interesting thing. One of the jobs, one of the many jobs <laughs> I had in my, in my life was uh, at one particular point, there's this thing when a film comes out, at least this is, when did I have this job? It's back in the 80s, I suppose. Um, I only had it for a very short period of time, maybe even a few days. Uh, when a film comes out, they hire a bunch of people. You basically this at night. The film comes out whenever it comes out, and then you're sitting there at like you know seven, eight, nine o'clock at night, uh, and they're reporting the the, um, the theaters are reporting the box office how many people came, how, many, how this film is doing it, box from all around the country, and you're taking this data and, and, and writing it down so that that's how they get this thing about how many, you know how how the films did that week. 
that weekend or whatever it is. Interestingly enough, let's go back just a little bit. Um, I know that uh, Spike Lee a while ago had been complaining because some theaters, what they would do was they would uh, say that somebody was going for a Spike Lee film. Say, you know, let's just name one, one that I particularly say School Days. I love School Days. Um, or Bamboozled. <laughs> anyway, let's go, go for that, go, you know, going for, for, that, for that movie. But the ticket, uh, if he wasn't paying attention, would say some other movie that was in the same Cinemax. So, so basically, the Spike Lee movie would not get that credit, you see, even though it's, it's the one that you, you, you wanted to, you know, you, 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 pay, you paid for. Interesting, there's a lot of finagling going on. Um, this, as an aside note, there's a big lawsuit uh, by Byron Allen talking about a somewhat related, a related topic. And in other words, these big companies, they won't allow black people to come in you know, under certain guises. Maybe I'll give that link too and see if you, you, you can check that out. But back to Birth of the Nation. So, so you have this whole thing happening with that. Now, Birth of the Nation, it's interesting. I think uh, Nate Parker did some things that, you know, that in hindsight, was, probably wasn't too smart. For instance, opening a lot of theaters. Maybe shouldn't have opened quite so many theaters uh, because they thought it was going to be a big blockbuster. Also, um, uh, Oprah Winfrey wanted to give him some, some advice. Now, Oprah Winfrey, no matter what you say about she is a producer. So she knows what's going on, but he wouldn't take her advice or didn't, whatever it was. So there's some mistakes there. Okay, so however Birth of Nation comes out, now also remember one more thing, uh, it's, it is a, a movie about slave revolt and we may have been saturated, folks may have been saturated with all these slave movies and they're sort of sensitive now to that kind of thing. And remember it's not like a slave revolt movie like, like say Django, which is a fictional thing, but Django was fun, you know, he, it was, you know, you know it's Quentin, Quentin Tarantino, he has his track record, you know it's going to be, if nothing else, it's going to be fun, you know, uh, but this wasn't it was what uh, said as a, as a fun movie. Uh, so there's, there's that thing, and then you have all these every, other heavy, really heavy, um, heavy films. Um, also, here's the other thing. Um, well, let me let me leave that. Let me say what I would have done with Birth of Nation. If, if I would like to do Birth of Nation, uh, the third and so the, the third use of that title. And here's what I do. Now remember, let me go back. When Roots came out as a TV series. Right. Uh, one of the knocks against Alex Haley, who wrote it, was that he plagiarized uh, Margaret Walker, or well, Margaret Walker, who wrote a book called Jubilee. Now, even before Roots came out, I don't think I read Roots. I read Ports Roots. Even before Roots came out, there was a. Uh, I, if you wanted to know the Black American experience through the, the, the Middle Passage and all the rest of that stuff, up until say the Civil Rights era, the three books I, I recommend you read in this order would be Frank Yerby's The Dahomean which is based in Africa to, 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 to being captives and to being enslaved. Uh, Margaret, Walker, uh, uh, Margaret Walker's Jubilee, which is the whole slave period, antebellum period. And then you would have, uh, I think it's Ernest Gaines, uh, doing uh, the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman that writes up to the Civil Rights Movement. And that would be the history. You read those three books and you have the history of black America. It's in a, in a, matter, a matter of thing. Okay. So, um, so the, so the last thing, if I was to do a thing, then I would, uh, then I would actually, uh, I would actually uh, do uh, uh, do Birth of Nation Part Three as an audio drama, and I would make it a many a, a long series, and it would go all the way uh, pre-colonial, pre-colonial, like, like see, Africa, pre-colonial Africa, right, all through the colonization, you know, the, the conquest, the colonization, you know, where you the Bible replaced the land or whatever have you, all the way through the, the Middle Passage, all the way to today and then beyond. Because my birth of the nation would be the birth of Africa as a nation. See, right now Africa is, 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 is different countries made up by, you know, the Europeans, you know, the, the, the whole Berlin Conference or whatever have you. And maybe they, they want it, they want it, they can think of federation now or they want the United States of Africa. But that, pff, Africa as the entire continent as a country. So my birth of nation would, would go Africa pre-exploitation uh, pre, uh, or before even the, 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 uh, uh, the, the, the Islamic uh, folks or the Arabs came in to try to conquer us there until the Europeans tried to conquer us there to, you know, to go around there, whatever it is, you know. Yeah, and it would go right, uh, right, right through like a projection of the birth of an African nation, all Africa, we might have to, I would keep the name Africa, I know it's a, a Roman guy and all the rest of that stuff, but I would keep the name Africa, it's, it's, it's alright with me, so, 
Those are my thoughts, thoughts from me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.